What is up, people? My name is Hafo, and uh, basically, Sam, I've offered, um, I've asked him, does he want to do a tutorial for my channel? He said yes, and uh, yeah, that's who he is. He's a really awesome editor. He does amazing tutorials. So uh, please, could you leave a like for Sam? I mean, it means a lot to him. He's only got 250 subs, and he deserves a lot more. So thanks for watching, guys, and enjoy the tutorial. I'll pass it over to Sam. So thanks, guys. Hey guys, it's Solar Sam here, and today I have another tutorial for you. Um, I will be showing you how to do particles today, but in, um, like on cinematics and stuff, but in trap code in particular. Uh, this is a plugin you can get for After Effects. I think it's better than the um, CC Particle World, or whatever it's called, I don't know. But um, it's better than Particle Playground as well, but uh, yeah, it's really easy to get. Just type it on YouTube, see if you can get it. But um, before I start, I want to do. A few like shout outs people, Hafo, uh, Taff's Touch, you know, kindly said that he had uploaded this, so this is basically for him really. Um, he's a ledge, he's a legend. Go and, um, go and subscribe to him if you haven't already. He's racking up subs, he's got um, 1,180, which is pretty decent to be honest. Um, he hasn't been on YouTube long, but go and subscribe to him, he's a legend. Um, also, uh, Editar, ed yeah, okay, so let's get started. If you want to open up After Effects, create a new composition, just make it whatever you want. Make, I'll just make it one minute for now because um, just for I'm not going to render this out. You will make want to make a composition size, but okay. So you uh, want to import your cinematic or whatever you want to put your thing on. Hang on, I've got a blank message probably. Yeah. Bear with me, sorry guys. <laughs> Alright, I'm back, sorry about that. Um, yeah, you get your clip you want to put the particles on, I'd recommend cinematics. I'm going to use some of Hafo's one just to, just for the easiness. I like his cinematics he's done, so let's just use this one. Um, import, come on, there we go. So drag it in, um, you might want to stretch it out a bit, just, just do that. Uh, just drag out the corners. Okay, so. It's just like a plain clip, it doesn't really matter at the moment. Um, you want to go to effect, this is if you have trap code, I'll probably put a link to how to get it as well. But you could, uh, effect trap code and in particular, um, this will come up. Oh shit, sorry. You want to go layer new and then solid before you put the particles on, you want to put the particles on the solid. Then you go effect trap code. Particular, this will come up. Drag this down to the bottom, um, so you don't really see where it comes from. Um, then you want to go to the emitter, emitter, sorry. And then you want to go life, um, life per second. You could just put. I like it at five, to be honest. Just put it at five. Just type in. If you just click there, it will come and you type whatever you want. Um, Velocity, stay at 100. Um, or oh, actually put the emitter type as a box rather than a point, or whatever that I just said. But put the um, velocity to 100. Put the emitter size X to about 1000 to 1200. Um, I'll just put it as 1200. And emitter size Y is 500. And then Z to 2000. Okay, then that'll, that'll give an even spread of particles. Um, <clears throat> okay, so you want to close the emitter, go on uh, particle. Life per second, I usually put it about 8. Um, it's kind of good. Randomness, over, you probably want to put it over 50 really. This is, this is to make the particles go random, which is really nice really. It looks a lot more natural if it's random so just put it over 50 put it slightly higher okay so then you want to go the type particle type is sphere just leave it as that you can have glow sphere if you want um, there are all sorts of different ones but if it's just little particles sphere is good <clears throat> the size I'd narrow it down a bit to four actually maybe three I don't know I'm gonna put it at three actually because I like quite small ones but if you like big ones increase it whatever probably sounds quite wrong but oh well um, <clears throat> the opacity, you can play around with that, you know, before you know what that is, it makes it 
really strong or really faded, you know, capacity. I'll just leave it as 100 for now. Capacity random, this means that they all won't be the same capacity, so if you want some of them to be really strong, some of them to be not so strong, just boot that up, put it at that, I don't know, quite like them to mostly be different, so I'll leave it at that. <coughs> you can have whatever colour you want, I'm going to leave it at white, but you can you can have them red if you want, but uh, I'm going to have them at white, just, just leave it at white, uh, and you can change the colour randomness and all that. Uh, I'm going to go down to physics next. Uh, the gravity you want to put at minus five ish. This is for fairly slow particles. If you want them to go faster, rising upwards, then um, the gravity makes them rise upwards. By the way, but if you want to make them go faster, then just uh, make the gravity less. So make it minus ten or something. Shut up, jeez. Minus ten. Uh, but this is fairly slow ones. This is what I like to have. Um, yeah. So that's. Let's just have a look at it. Um, come on, it's been slow to recording. Can't really see him anything. As you can see, I uh, might make the size slightly bigger actually. Um, let's say five. Yeah, then you can see them more, but you probably don't want them as high as big. You can see, and then if you want more, if you want more um, particles, go to emitter particles, particles per second. You can see there's tons there. They're all different capacity because that's what we did earlier. Say that, say 15, so that you can see them all and it should rise upwards. Yep, they're all rising upwards. If you want them to go down, it's like snow, then just put the gravity at something over 1 or over 0 to be honest. Um, that's that for now. And then, um, uh, the, just to add a nice effect to it, make sure your black solid is. Oopsie, black side is selected. Go effect, and then um, blur and sharpen, uh, Gaussian blur. Or you could just go. Oh my god, it's just initializing all the presets now. Or you could just go effects and presets and type in Gaussian blur, and it'll come up. But thank you, not responding. That's brilliant. Um, oh shit, there we go. Uh, Gaussian blur. As you can see, you watch the particles. Um, they slightly blur. It means it's. It just looks. I don't know, it just looks good. Oh, I've just been signed out of the internet, brilliant, I think. Um, yeah, it just looks better, it gives it a nice edge with the blur. And if you add a nice colour correction to this, um, just a uh, magic bullet or something, it doesn't really matter to be honest. Um, I'll just do one for purposes, but tutorial purposes. Got closer before it up. There we go. Let's open the file. I don't know, that's probably disgusting. That'll do, that'll do. Uh, you'll be able to see this horrible colour correction. Do not, I would advise you to take more time on that. Um, you can see the particles. I might want to make them slightly more blurry, to be honest. And if I were you, I would do less particles per second. I'm just doing it so you can see it. Let's put it less for you. I'm just going to leave it at seven. You know, it gives it a more natural um, field cinematic. I think Hafo did a wiggle one before. Wiggle works extremely well with this. Um, I'll just see how long. Yeah, eight minutes. That probably do. Um, wiggle works really well with this, but um, yeah, he's already done that. So if you add that to it as well, but um, thank you. Uh, also, actually, oh god, the internet's gone down. But um, don't forget to subscribe to editor and Hafo. Uh, X Tony as well, oh, Tone, um, good mate of mine. Go and subscribe to him. He's in my sub box. He's just recently started a new channel. Um, and my editing team that we've, me and editor have just started up, Flowbox Studio. Make sure you please subscribe to them uh, or us. We are going to be uploading some nice edits uh, for you guys. Maybe some talk, maybe some tutorials. We never know, it's going to be good, but we haven't really done much to promote it yet. But, um, okay, thank you.